Go. Nolan, go ahead. Marcelo, congratulations on your win. Talk to me about how you're feeling after that, uh, that victory in your Bellator debut. I feel great. Feliz por ter estreado. So feliz por ter feito um estreado perfeito. Yeah, I feel great. I'm very happy. Happy to hear that. And uh, I guess, was there anything in there that surprised you? It was a pretty dominant performance. You went through a bunch of different opponents, but that was ultimately how you saw that one playing out. Sí, era un hombre muy corajoso, mm -hmm. tiene pulgones yeah. y hace toda la pelea con cuatro días. Mm -hmm. Es un hombre de verdad. Yeah, he's, he's a real man with a big set of balls. He took the fight on four days' notice. For sure. And I, I think that, just talk to me about this a little bit. I, you, you have had a number of different opponents that have been scheduled across different cards, and it seems like it's tough for you to get somebody in there, uh, you know, that's, that's willing to face you. Do you think that that will continue to be an issue going forward for you? Espero que no, pero si, si ese fuera un problema, siempre estoy entrenando para cualquier oponente y estoy listo para quien aparecer en el frente. Yeah, he doesn't think it's going to be a problem, but um, in the future, but he's, he's going to keep training. He's going to be ready for anybody that Bellator throws at him. Is there anybody in particular you'd like next? I know you and Steve Mowry were matched up. Was that a name that you, you hope is next for you? Sí, yo creo que esa era la pelea original uh -huh. y quiero, tengo mucho respeto por él, pero quiero... Yeah. That, that was the original fight. That was the original plan. Um, that fight fell out. Uh, we, the reason we don't know, but that's the, that's the fight he wants. And, and uh, he's got a lot of respect for Steve Maury, and that's the guy he wants to fight next. Thanks, guys. Jay. Thanks very much. And uh, Marcel, congratulations on the win tonight. Just a couple of quick ones. Um, there's a fight coming up between an old opponent of yours, Tim Johnson, and of course the legendary Fedor. You said ahead of this that you think that'll be a boring fight, but is the winner of that, especially if it's Johnson, something that you'd like considering that you do have a history with him? Sí, uh, Tim Johnson era mi vencedor en el pasado. Mm -hmm. Era un gran peleador mm -hmm. y me gustaría un día poder tener mi, mi venganza. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely something that's on the list. Um, they fought once before in another organization, and um, he definitely wants a rematch. And in terms of uh, a return to the cage, uh, are you looking at later this year? Uh, you know, how many times more would you like to fight this year, if possible? ¿Cuántas más veces quiero luchar este año? Si todo coger bien, quiero pelear más dos veces este año. All right, if everything goes well, I want to fight uh, twice more this year. All right, best of luck. Thanks very much. Luis. Uh, hi, Marcelo. Congratulations for your win. Uh, how do you feel getting back the big leagues with a huge win? Sí, estoy contento por eso. Era la primera pelea en la organización y comenzar con un gran knockout en el primer round. Estoy contento con eso. Sí, yeah, está muy feliz con eso. Um, you know, he's got, he got a first round knockout on, on the highest level. Chris. Hi, Marcelo. Chris Connor here. Last call. Congratulations. Uh, take us to this fight in terms of how much pressure was there on you? Because a lot of people thought. It was a no-win fight. You win, okay, you beat up a guy who's a regional fighter. You struggle, people say, well, you're overrated. How tough is it going into a fight where you have so much pressure and so much expectations, not just to win, but to win decisively, to dominate? It's <sighs> porque Él tiene pocas peleas, mm -hmm. pero a un heavyweight, mm -hmm. y todo heavyweight es peligroso. Mm -hmm. Entonces, sí, tiene esa presión, pero yo sé lidiar con eso. Yeah, so there was a lot of pressure coming into this fight for the reasons you stated before, but uh, in the heavyweight division, everybody's dangerous, you know, and any fight can end with one blow. All right, last one here, Ronald. This is Ronald E. Smith from Getting Real. My question just for Marcelo is, is, just, Marcelo is just this. For you, 
after coming through three straight losses and then coming coming with resurgence and finding a new groove, what are you most proud of for yourself on this journey? And what have you learned? What did you learn about yourself when you were going through that spell? Sí, fue, fue, fue una, una parte en, terrible de mi vida. Perdí tres peleas de se mandaron embora. Yeah, those three losses were very, it was, it was actually a horrible part of his life. Pero aprendí que se no puede parar, siempre tengo que seguir en frente. But I, I learned that I can't stop, I just got to keep going. All right, Marcel, that was the last one. Thank you for the time.